At this point, I just don't trust it with anything. Okay, so you should be relatively organized. Alright, now obviously these tanks are not the best, but they're still tanks. And the Germans don't have any tanks, so... Yeah. They're gonna be useful. Take Berlin! Yeah, I mean, they do have tanks, but it's like, they seem to be pretty shitty. Because they aren't, aren't actually producing the tanks. Okay, Berlin has been taken. Excellent. Yeah, go for Magdeburg. Period, давай. Now we can take Dresden, because we all know that that is the favorite city of everyone. Uh, wait, hold on. Are we not at war with this guy? This fool? Unit cannot enter province, so it doesn't seem like we're at war with this fool. No, you're not actually at war with us. That's annoying. Ah, well. So I put this army here for nothing, because the Germans did not allow them to do anything. Oh, I've got some strategic bombers. Uh, worthless. At this point, it's still pretty worthless. to have strategic bombers. Awaken the Russian bear, of course. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Uh, so yeah, the Germans are being completely crushed all across the line. Alright, just... attack. Yeah, attack, comrades. Gotta make sure that the Western Allies do not really get everything out of this peace deal. And that the workers also get a piece of the pie. Okay, we're actually closing on the liberation of the Czechs, which is obviously gonna be quite the victory for us. Yeah, continue on pushing into Nuremberg. Very good. Why are there bloody KMT divisions over here? Looks like the, the stupid reactionary Guomindang government is actually supporting the Germans, something for which we will not forgive them. Because these Valkist pricks, these reactionary dogs, have nothing to do with, you know, everything we sent the KMT that they could do to support the revolution. Instead, they decide to choose to support our enemies. We will not be happy with that. 
Alright, Prague has been liberated and the Germans are basically gone. At this point, it seems like the Reich will be uh, once again thrown back into the dustbin of history, as it deserves. How close are you to actually capitulating? Very close. Very, very close. Okay, Vienna has been taken, and uh, bloody Slovakia is not being called into the war. Uh, which again pisses me off a lot. Because it would be very nice to be able to take down those Slovakians. Slovakian puppets of Germany. Recent arms sale with Reichskommissariat Denmark, who is our opponent. It was a pleasure doing business with you, says the communist giving weapons to his literal enemy. Yeah, that needs to be fixed a little bit. I mean, I don't think it actually does anything, but it is quite distracting, to say the least. And yeah, the Germans are being backed into the last little corner of territory that they can call theirs around Munchen. And it seems like our armies are gonna be in time to get there before they do. Okay, that should be the end of the German Reich. I think. Excellent. City's ours, and that should be the end. The Deutsche Reich has capitulated. Very good. It's capitulated to the Frenchies, but it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna survive. They're gonna get most of the score, but again, it's fine. We're gonna survive. Okay, so our last forces that are, yeah, our forces in here are gonna, are gonna be able to do a bit of resting. However, there's still this annoyance called Slovakia, which is making life a lot more difficult for us than it should be. But whatever. KMT has declared war on the Funtian state. Uh, do they realize that there is the jelly click in the way? I don't think they do. No one tell them. Do, do not tell them. Uh, oh wait, do they have a navy? They do. They might. Oh right, because they gave them the port. <laughs> Manchurian candidacy incoming. Yeah, they're they're invading from the rear. Uh, yeah, the Funktian army is already very hard pressed along the actual front line with the Jelly Click. So that secondary invasion is probably going to be the end for them. Oh, I, I like to see that the Soviet state of Japan, or whatever it's called, the Revolutionary Republic of Japan, is actually building up quite the troops. Very nice. I've almost finished those air doctrines, which is nice to see. Rex Commissariat, Denmark has capitulated. Very nice. Looks like there's a German battleship that's trying to run away, but it's gonna die. It's going to die. Yeah, 
like, I like how the Polish SSR has just expanded. Ooh, they do claim this, although we also claim Prussia for our own. Because of course. Can we finally get this? Yes, finally. We can get this. Alright. 14 and 4 divisions are done. Uh, have we ever built any tanks? No, we never. Which is sad. Because we should be doing it. Oh no, we don't actually have any tank. Ah, well, that's fine. Apparently, the only reason why this war is still going is because the Italianische okay, so finally the Italianische Freistag has capitulated, and so this is going to be the peace conference. All right, so this is what the Frenchies are taking. Yeah, they're taking a lot. All right, let's gnaw money crush a bit. Now. Apparently we claim Silesia, which is just a little preposterous. Oh, we claim everything. <laughs> I love this. We claim literally everything. This is great. You know, great Soviet Union. Expands into Central Europe. Yeah, it looks like the Elbe over here, or... No, no, no. Is this... Yeah, this is the Elbe. The Elbe will be the new front line of the Great War. Against capitalism. That is about to erupt. <laughs> Claims the Serene Republic of Venice, because of course. Ooh, ho 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 ho! Seems like we can take some Turkey. That's great. Though we cannot take Constantinia, because that has been taken by the Hellenic Republic. Excellent. Uh, we can take Libya because of course, and Fiume because of fucking course. Yeah, alright. Wait, hold on. What? What is this last state? Eastern Luxembourg. Apparently the Frenchies are not going to take this one. Alright, we're going to exchange Eastern Luxembourg with something else because that's just terrible. Like, for example, why the hell does the El the Hellenic Republic have this? Like, it's okay if they release uh, fucking Slovakia as a puppet. That'd be fine. We're going to see what the, what the allies do with this territory that they've just taken. Ooh, more factories. I need more artillery. Oh wow, so many military factories. Occupation of Germany, all right. Yeah, now we're getting all the occupations. Apparently we don't actually claim these places. German Soviet Socialist Republic. Yeah, we don't actually claim them, apparently. Or, wait, maybe we claim them, but... Ah, just... All this stuff is so weird... ...to work out. Establish a collaborationist Greater Austria? <laughs> it's because we have Fiume. This is hilarious. Oh, Fiume does not have a port. Now, that angered me. Okay. 
occupation of Turkey. Occupation of Germany. Occupation of the Czech state. You know what? Let's try to make the Soviet Union great. This is going to be extremely inefficient in terms of stability and war support and everything. But we're going to try to make the Soviet Union strong in Eurasia. Um, everything else we can just like puppet or something. So... We are going to maintain military occupation of the Czechs, Germans, the Austrians, and release the Turks. Ottoman Soviet... What the fuck? What? With the flag too? Jesus Christ. I am immediately, immediately not happy about this. Oh, T-44. New tanks. Very good. Uh, right, and we need uh, the self-propelled artillery. How very great. And yeah, like... Actually, their stability in Warsaw is not that bad, because apparently it's not scaled. So, like, for example, if you keep the Germans, it doesn't seem to be all that bad. Alright. Priorities, priorities. Let us rebuild all of this infrastructure that we have destroyed. By fighting. Oh, we have completed the five-year plan! There is no fortress which the Bolsheviks cannot storm. Completing the five-year plan will show the imperialists the power of socialism. Of course. So we have completed the five-year plan. Very good. Alright, now I'm still waiting for these imperialist dogs to, like, release their friends. It's weird how they're not seemingly getting any events to release anyone. So I might just tag over and uh, make that happen. Oh god, what is that? That is so terrible. That is all so terrible. I mean, it's almost as terrible as the Ottoman Soviet state. Jesus Christ. Is the Socialist Republic of Iran ever going to be useful to, like, anyone? Who knows? Who knows there? Maintenance company. Yes. Preach that. Sign with us over the special forces limit. Angry noises. Oh, and look, the revolutionary repub. What the hell? How the. Bay Sanguo. What the f fuck is this? How did the Japanese get Manchuria? Could they take things from their focus tree somehow? No. Could they... Are you just a random puppet? No, yeah, you're not the Feng Tian click. Because if you were the Feng Tian click... Also, what the... What, what's that flag all about? Oh god, that's so hilarious. Manchurian Soviets! <laughs> so this is just like the Revolutionary Republic of Japan and the Soviet Union collaborating to... Like, make Manchuria a revolutionary base. Uh, does that have cores on everyone? That has cores on everyone. Alright, we have our new target, boys. We have our new target in Asia. 
Uh, do you have any guarantees? Oh yeah, you want to fight? You want to fight the KMT? Yeah, the KMT and the Jelly Click want to fight each other. Anyway, we have a new friend to feed. <laughs> we have a new friend to feed. We have fucking Bei Sangwa over here. Anyway, uh, that is gonna be what we do. So yeah, we... Wait, what? He's got Taiwan again! But he's keeping it and not giving it over to Bei Sangwa. What the hell is going on? I honestly have no idea what is up with this game right now. But it is quite great. It is quite great. That should be the only place we need to hold. Coming of Bolivia to declare war on the Chilean Republic. Good job, Coming of Bolivia. You are expanding socialism. Which is very good. That's what we're doing, too. Man, looks like the build list is a little bugged. Yeah, it's one of those times when it's bugging out like that. Ah, well. Yeah, we want to get dockyards now. Because we uh, want to build a great fleet of Doom. <laughs> I like how the Polish are swarming east because they see like, you know, hey look, the Overlord is sending troops there. So let's do that too. I'm gonna send over a couple of tanks as well. Yeah, look at those T-44s. How great. Uh, also, right, uh, wherever there's tungsten, we want to build infrastructure. So that we can build all of our medium tanks. Where the hell do we have tungsten? Alright. Uh, yeah, that's full infrastructure already. Hmm. Central Asia. Almata. Oh wow, that's actually a lot of resources. Very good. Gonna build that up. Yeah, this is just hilarious. I just don't understand. Why? Why is it so good? Why is it so good? So incredibly good. Yeah, we're gonna have to assign them some help too, in the form of aircraft. Man, that Greek Empire though. That sure is a Greek Empire. <laughs> They've taken Venice. Because of course. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do some off-screen messing around with this because it's not gonna fly. So yeah, I'm actually gonna see you in a bit. I'm gonna do some exchanges of everything. And wait, what is... What the freaking hell is this? Why do you exist in the Libyan desert? You're probably bugging a lot of things out. So, good riddance. Alright, um... Yeah, uh, see you back when I've fixed the map. Alright, so essentially what I've done is I've reworked the map uh, to where it's not quite so border quarry. I've taken this Greek stuff over here uh, for myself and I've given them more of uh, Turkey to compensate. I've also given them a bunch of like random territories to compensate for all the random territories that they had taken over uh, just everywhere and that I've had to cede to other people in order to make it look not quite so atrocious. Italy, uh, it's just weird because the French somehow got the option to balkanize Italy. So there's a Republic of Piedmont, a Republic of Lombardy with an extremely modern symbol, uh, a serene Republic of Venice with the 
like Freistadt Italian flag, even though they're conservative, and apparently the Serene Republic of Venice has claims and cores on everything, so it's literally Italy, it's just a really buggy name. Um, then there's a Republic of Naples, uh, and uh, the British were keeping these things for themselves, so I had to make them release uh, the Kingdom of Italy. I gave them some territory. This used to be controlled by Venice, uh, and since it didn't make any sense, I gave them back. Uh, Emilia Romagna over here used to be controlled by Venice as well. That didn't make any sense, so I gave it to Lombardy. Uh, Piedmont is... I mean, you cannot do anything about this. Uh, Corsica got released by the Frenchies. Uh, and as I've said, like the Greeks had so much war score that they took things all over, so I had to give them back some things. I gave them back Fiume, and I gave them uh, Puglia uh, over here. They only had like Abruzzo here, and so I had to give them a little bit more. I also made them annex Albania. Uh, the British had taken Valona, and uh, Albania was an independent thing, but I made them annex it. Just so that, you know, uh, it would compensate for how much power they've lost by me rebalancing everything. Uh, then the big part was the Frenchies. The Frenchies had, you know, a bunch of stuff over here that they were not releasing. So I released Austria. I released the Confederation of the Rhine under Konrad Adenauer. I released the Kiel Zone under the Nationalrat, or sorry, Schleswig-Holstein. And I released the German Republic under Heinrich Brüning. Uh, so... <laughs> Hitler is still the economy minister. Which is just amazing. And yeah, so France still got a bunch. And so the, in the end, the alliances are looking something like this. The Third International, you know, spanning across Eurasia in the East. Uh, then you have the Continental Entente in Western Europe and the Imperial Protection Alliance just kind of derping about. And Greece, of all people, has spread all over the Mediterranean. Uh, I decided to let them keep Porto Torres over here. That's just because it's a meme. So yeah, uh, and it could have been worse. I was actually really afraid that this Piedmont over here was... Oh yeah, uh... Now we get, now we get this occupation. Uh, I was really afraid that this Piedmont over here was actually Greece, because <laughs> the colors look really similar. So yeah, I was really, really afraid about that. But yeah, so it was, it was done, and I sure hope at this point that nothing's going to break because it was absolutely hilarious. Anyway, uh, The Revolutionary Republic of Japan has declared war on the Jelly Click. Because... Yes! Yeah, it looks like the Jelly Click finished taking over Manchuria. So the Revolutionary Republic of Japan was like, Yeah, sure! Let's go after them. Yeah, get some extra tanks over here. You could have done this a little bit later, you know? But hey, this is pretty good. Uh, do you even have ships? No, you do not. That's very good. That means that we can just take control of the seas. And uh, spread the revolution in China. What? What the fuck? What the actual shit? What the cuck? Yeah, see, I knew that this was going to be a possibility. I knew that this was going to be a possibility. What the fuck? Oh well, I think I need to end this for now. So, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Because otherwise, if I continue playing this, I'm just going to go mad.